spot. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with Sanders. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. It's a gain of eight. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll run it, Sanders, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that one will fall incomplete. Intended for Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. That's caught by Jackson. That he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down for an Eagles. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. by the Cowboys. They'll take over first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for, but it'll be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Final play of the half, Prescott. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Will Parks. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on his first half of action. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's the Eagles ready to see the football first. And they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Yeah. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Late Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. A gain of four. It's now the run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Hertz to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Miles Sanders. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. The ball carrier. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Now a carry for Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Well, I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but, uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. Boston Scott, his first carry. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Throwing his hurts. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. They go play action with Hertz. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. They'll run with Sanders, and he is going to lose yardage here. Miles that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, I have to think that the wheels are really spinning in their play caller's mind now. That little setback there on first down. They'll have three more shots if that's what it takes because they've got to take field goals out of their thought process. They need a touchdown and a conversion to tie this game. What play calls does he have on that sheet? And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg Ward, his third touchdown now on the year are within an extra point of tying this thing up. An out route there 
for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the way? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A gain of five. And the Cowboys. On first and ten, Prescott. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. It's a gain of five. And that's going to bring up the third down. And it's third down. This is out quickly to the right. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a yard. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now the offense is not leading the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Prescott gets this to the tight end, Jarwin. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 more on that one, and another first down. First down, Cowboys. A first down throw for Prescott. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And the Cowboy first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. The Eagles' eight-yard line. That's going to be caught at the ten-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. First and goal. That should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal at the four-yard line. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. On the ground with a tight end. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Zerline now for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Good. Makes the score Cowboys 21, Eagles 13. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And they're on 24-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. Not much there, only a yard. Brings up second. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, he just had a big, big game, didn't you? Fielded in the end zone. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 of the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And now it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this one incomplete. Hurt too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Brings up second and nine. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this throw caught left side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Throwing here, Prescott. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. 
Well, in all likelihood, this ball game's still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stack line of scrimmage and said, and he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive, interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. Wesley Woodyard. We got a plane to catch. One yard. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Six-yard line. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. To Ezekiel Elliott. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. Third and four. And this crowd urging on their defense. They're up and making noise. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They lost a big chunk. Six yards there. And it leads to fourth down. Six on the play. It's now fourth down. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Cowboys, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they will head home next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall to 5-3 and three with a loss. And they'll take this loss into the bye as he'll be back in action in Week 10. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. She back at me.